Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with two more Series 1 Studs Trading Cards packs. When I did buy the four packs, I didn't actually intend on making two separate videos, but I received a lot of positive feedback about the first video, so I thought I'd do it again. So let's get right into it and open up the very first pack. So here are the cards I got. So the very first card I saw when I opened this pack up was actually a duplicate card. As you can see, it's Nathan Suez's red sculpture build with the hands sticking up. I did get this in one of the other two packs I opened up. So it's a duplicate, but it's still a pretty cool card. The next one up here is another part to the build a sphere puzzle. On the back here, as you can see, it's got a pool. It looks like a pool table, so that's very cool. I definitely can't wait to see if I'm lucky enough. Well, I don't. I only have four packs, so I obviously won't be lucky enough. But I'd love to be able to kind of complete that picture one day. This next card here is this really cool mosaic looking build. It looks like fire and a person in the fire, which is pretty neat. The builder on this one is Brandon Griffin, Griffith, I believe. So that's really cool. This one here looks to be a Star Wars build. I'm not too much into Star Wars, but I kind of recognize the Star Wars build when I see it. And it is built by Mark Borlas. Mark for last. Up here we got another one of these really cool little build or this minifigure card I guess you'd say. This one looks like Bob Ross the artist, I'm pretty sure. I could be completely wrong, but that's kind of what it looks like to me. And on the back there you see the minifigure, and I did actually get one of these as well in one of my other packs, a little spaceman. This one here is one of the superhero like drawing cards, like a graphic artist, by Greg Highland. Very cool looking card here, really like all the details in that, especially like at the glass breaking window. It looks like Batman's coming through glass, but really they're like one by one plates. This really cool looking blue build here, not really sure what it's supposed to be, but it looks very cool. It's a good image, like very good quality, I really appreciate that. And this builder is Andy Grubb. This really cool card has got to be my favorite build so far out of this whole deck. It's very simple and it is this rubber ducky. It just looks so cool and I really like the different setup. It looks like it's in a bathtub, it's got studs blocking it, and it's just a really cool duck. And it's all not, which is studs not on top, so that's really cool. And builder of this is Bruce Lowell, or Lowell. I'm horrible with names. Finally, this last card we got in this pack here is the Jets football helmet. Very cool. The building techniques in this build are incredible. Look at all the little detailing. Those are all like one by one cylinders that are completely molded to make this build, so that's very impressive. And the builder of this is Derek Shine. Derek Skine? Derek Shine. Alright, here we go. So we actually have my very last studs trading card pack. I only picked up four and I'm opening number four. So you know what? I to be quite honest, I am kinda sad that this will be my last pack. I'll just have to order more, I guess. Or wait until next year for Billy Rick Fest to buy them there. So here are the cards I did get. Quick look at them. And we'll go into more detail now. The first card I just have to say, seriously? This is my third copy of number 5, The Build. Very disappointed that out of four packs, I did get three of this card. I think I either just picked the wrong packs or they were not evenly distributed, but that kind of sucks. And I thought out of four packs, I'd at least get three different ones, but I guess not. This next card up here, I love the build on this. It looks like this really cool amusement park. Not entirely sure what it is, but man, it looks really awesome. On the back here, it is built by a whole LEGO user group, which is Ronnie Luck. Oh, that's really cool. I really enjoy this build. So this next one here, very cool scorpion build. I already actually have this card. I got that in one of the other packs as well. Still pretty neat, and the builder is Norbert. Now this build here, I can definitely appreciate. Like, it looks so neat. As you can see, the guy's like half buried in cement, like half trying to get out, and I think that's cement. I could be completely wrong. But very neat. And of course, the builder on that is Nathan Suez. This build here, really amazing, honestly. I'm very shocked at how, like, this is a really nice looking build. I really like the techniques used with the fire pieces around the face, especially as, for like, it looks like hair sticking up. We have those glass pieces. Very unique way to use those. Like, I've seen them used in many different ways, and this one certainly is the most unique in this really cool build by Cole Black. Very lengthy bio there. 
This one here again, not really sure what it is. It looks pretty neat. I like the different techniques and I appreciate how nice and white the backdrop is. That's very hard to achieve for some of these photos. And the builder here is Nanan Zhang. Very nice. This build here, this whole pack seems to be a little sci-fi-ish, I guess you could say. This build again, not really sure what it is. But again, the builder of it is Cole Block. I've seen him already in this pack. Next build here is really awesome. I love this build. I've seen this build before. I bet you've seen this build before. It is, of course, the Hogwarts Castle by Alice Finch. Very cool build. This is a huge build. She displayed at many, many conventions, and it is so cool. And you can read about her biography in the back. Thanks, everybody, so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed me opening up the very last of the studs trading cards that I have. I'm definitely very impressed with these packs. Again, this video is not a product placement in any way. I actually purchased these with money. They did not send them to me like a lot of the other products that I review on my channel. They are completely, I paid for them. So they're really cool cards. I definitely recommend checking them out if you're into this kind of stuff, like trading cards. I think they're definitely something really unique to add to your Lego collection. Thanks, everybody, so much. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I'll put a card in this video to the very first Studs unboxing video if you want to go check that out. I think you should. It was a cool video. Thanks everybody so much for watching. Let me know down below if you want to see more Studs trading cards openings. I'm at a patch right now, but I can always order more if this is a video series that you guys really like to see. Thanks everybody so much for watching. Glad you enjoyed.